Hey guys, it's Jarek there, Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. Got another chrono today. This one is of the JG Military Aug. This is my favorite style of Aug, personally, myself. I actually really do like the style. It's the standard Aug style. To me, it's just not really the Aug without the sleek aerodynamic scope. It That's just personally myself. Uh, I know a lot of other people think differently, but that's just personally me. But, here's a chrono of this Aug in the OD color. Man, I love the look and feel of this thing. But, if you want to buy this gun, there's a link in the video information to RDA's forum. To, I'm sorry. If you want to buy this gun, there's a link in the video information to RDA's website. There's also a link in the video information to RDA's forum. But, this is going to be a chrono. We're, we are using 22 gram BBs. As you can see, fully loaded up. And a 9.6 volt mini type. Please note, a 9.6 volt mini type will not fit in this gun. However, they do make custom designed mini types that will fit in this thing. Uh, they resemble more of a block than a rectangle, but they will fit in the back if you can get one. They're actually pretty easy to find. I can get one if you really wanted me to. So, actually, now that I mention that, I'm going to add a drop down option on my website where you can buy that custom design so you can fit a 9.6 volt right into the buttstock. So, if you click on where it says JG Aug, it'll drop down, and you can add the 9.6 volt right there. So, with that being said, 9.6 volt mini type, 0.2 gram BB, so let's see what this kind of shooting at. Alright, so feet per second. Again, 0.2, 9.6 volt battery. Three eight one. 372, 378, 379, 375, 359, 373. Okay, so it's very consistent around 375 feet per second, which is actually right around perfect, right around what you want it to be, because you're never going to take this gun into CQB, even though it's smaller. Your hand isn't really close to the front of it, you can't, it's a little bit harder to swing it around in closer quarters. So normally you're just going to be using this for woodland, but you could take it in the CQB if you wished to. Uh, either way, 380 is, 375 to 380 is about perfect for what you want to do for uh, for woodland, and with the length of this barrel, this gun is very, very accurate. So, perfect feet per second for what you're doing. Uh, let's see the rate of fire with the 9.6, so rounds per minute. Oops. 840, 850, 850, 840, 830, so it seems very consistent around 850 rounds a minute, which is actually uh, very, very, well not very, very good, it's a little above average, but it uses their standard version 3 gearbox. So, this gun is shooting with a respectable rounds per minute and about 380 feet per second. It's about perfect for what you want for Woodland. Alright, so it's time to do a poor man's chrono. 0.2 gram BBs. Shooting at the bottom of the can. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Alright, and it looks like punctured the bottom of the can. Let's see if it'll do it to the side part of it. And it just barely punctured the side part of it as well. So it can puncture the bottom of the can. Alright, so now it's time to just do the normal can shoot. Let's start shooting semi automatic and then full auto. Alright, look pretty damaged. Now let's go plain full auto. Alright, I think that's enough shooting. Alright, so here's the can. A few BBs still left in there. That uh, looks like some pretty good damage. Now, we didn't shoot it too much. We really didn't. We only emptied, I'd say, a hundred at the very most. It wasn't even a quarter of the magazine, so it really wasn't a whole lot of shooting. But the full auto pretty much just tore it apart, just like the previous video I made of this gun. This gun always, for some reason, has a lot of damage done. It has to do with something with the, uh, the bullpup design. 
because normally bullpup designs generally do end up killing them a little bit faster and a little bit cleaner than a your standard designed rifle, but this one specifically really does tear cans apart. Uh, pretty much any video I've made where I've shot a can with this with the AUG, it's ended up at least like this. And we didn't shoot it too much, we really didn't. <laughs> so that's a, that's a destroyed can. So this thing is actually pretty impressive. I do love the AUG myself. I am a stickler for bullpup rifles. Stickler. I love bullpup rifles, that's what I was trying to say. Um, this one in particular feels very nice. You can get your body close to the gun. You can get into a smaller smaller stance so you can really advance without being shot. And uh, as a whole, it performs really well. 380 feet per second. This gun you're most likely going to be using mostly for woodland because your hand isn't you know, on the front where you can really control which way it turns, it's more back here, so it's a little bit wider and allows a very, very, very long barrel. Barrels from here to here. And it is very accurate. 380 feet per second, perfect for that. Around 150 rounds a minute, that's definitely respectable. So, again, if you want to buy this gun, it's the link in the video information. Over there, over there, I can't remember which. I think it's over there. To where you can buy this gun. So that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's Chrono of the JG Military Aug.